for today's money makeup lesson, I want to share with you my top three tricks to bring your eye makeup to the next level. We're talking creating contrast, checking angles, and adding some balance. The first thing is cleaning up around the eyes, which I think most of us are aware of, but I want you to check your angles while you're doing this. The way that you clean up the outer edge of the eye depends on the look that you're creating, but also your eye spacing. If you're not sure about your eye spacing, I'll recap it for you. We have average, close set, and wide set. Average is the width of one eye length apart, close set is less than the width of one eye length apart, and wide set is more than the width of one eye length apart. To find this measurement, you're going to use your finger and your thumb, measure one eye and then place it in the middle. If there's no space, then you're average. If you poke yourself in the eye, then you're close set. And if you have a little bit of space, then you're wide set. For most people, I recommend just using the average angle if you're not sure which one you fit into. Basically, you're using the edge of the nose, eye, and brow to create a line, and you're blending inwards from this point. Then you just use the tear duct area to create a parallel line and keep your eyeshadow between these two points. Very easy and very flattering. Now, if you know that you are close set, you're going to use the dimple of your nose and the corner of your eye, and this will pull the eyes apart. It's also used in a siren eye angle. And for wide set eyes, you're going to use the average placement, but you're keeping a little tighter on the outer edge. Use a vertical line from the tear duct, and this will bring the eyes closer together. Very similar to what we see when we create a doe eye makeup look. Now, whichever angle you end up using, you just want to make sure you're checking both of your eyes, clean up with a little bit of concealer, or if you've already done your eye makeup, a slightly lighter powder can just create that nice sharp edge to create the angle that you want. Now, concealing and cleaning around the eyes will also create more contrast. Sometimes you might feel like you need a little bit more eyeshadow to add more depth, but by brightening around the eyes, that depth will show up a little bit more. And the same goes for the eyebrows. Now, your brows also play a large role in how your eye makeup is going to be framed. They're the frame for your eyes. So for a balanced look, match the drama of the eyes with the depth of the brows, or for a bold eye, even tone down the brows to create a little bit more contrast. Now for my personal style, I like my brows to match the drama of the eye makeup. So if you have a strong eye, maybe a little bit more dramatic than normal, but you don't want it to look too dramatic, add a little bit more depth to the brows to create more balance. Now depth does not mean darker. It actually just means a little bit more filled in than normal. Even just use a slightly lighter shade than you usually would, and this will create more depth, but not going darker. But also remember to clean up around the brows because that's your first step to see how much product you are going to need to add that contrast and add that depth. And like we said, adding depth to the brows will create more balance, but your mascara application matters as well. I always recommend checking your lower lashes to see if they need more or less product to match with the upper lashes. Long, thick lower lashes will actually drag the eyes downwards. So what I like to do is I like to use a two for one ratio with the upper lashes always being two times thicker, denser, and darker than the lower lashes to make sure that I have that nice balance. My lower lashes are for some reason always in better condition than my upper lashes. So I'll either skip mascara on the lower lashes or I'll add some upper lashes to create more balance. And there you go, three ways to upgrade your eye makeup look, creating some sharp contrast, adding some depth and some balance, all without even adding any more eyeshadow. I hope these finishing steps were helpful. If you have any tricks, let me know. And if you want to see this look, which is a soft spotlight eye, I should have it up by Friday, though I am going to a friend's wedding this week. So if you want, you can come over to my Instagram because I had to change my dress last minute. I've also been really sick for the last few weeks, so I'm just happy that I'm well enough to go. I'm really excited about it, but I'll hopefully have a makeup look up by Friday as long as the wedding doesn't take too much out of me. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And if you made it this far, then let me know in the comments using emojis what you have been up to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!